Hey, cftracking.com here with just a quick video to tell you why the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro and above series is the single most superior watch in the higher upper end sports tracking watches of its kind. So I'm just gonna give you sort of a, bu a bullet list of 10 things, but not really specifically focusing on the number. Um, but number one, maps. Uh, there, I've now tested the Sunto Bar 09 uh, Titanium, the Coros Vertix, as well as the Polar Titan V and the Grid X, and the mapping capabilities on the Garmin Phoenix 6 are unlike anything that I've seen or have tested. I don't do a lot of outdoors, so this is really more focused as an outdoor feature, but it still is awesome. I went out kayaking and was able to figure out that there was going to be a dead end to one part of a lake. Um, the map feature is just unlike anything else. So the Sunto will have the compass and the Grid X will have some sort of directional thing, but here you can see exactly what street you're on. You can even pull up a point of interest and it'll give you turn by turn to get to a local Starbucks off of a GPS. So it somehow can track in and help you see different things in the area and give you a map and a path to get to that area unlike anything else. Um, next up is weather. So you get a weather widget, which might sound a little bit simple. Garmin has had a weather widget for a long period of time, but nobody else is really doing it. The Grit X now from Polar now includes a weather widget, but not really. Um, Sunto, Sunto will have a storm update, but that doesn't really help you look at a forecast. So any of the ones that are currently out there don't really give you accurate updated weather other than the Grid X, but the accuracy and updating process of that is not as smooth and simple or as even as in detail as uh, the Garmin watch series. So pulse ox, um, you know, the Phoenix 6 can give you the option of tracking it at night while you sleep or all day during the day. So nobody else but Coros will track your pulse ox. So Sunto doesn't have it, Polar doesn't have it, but Coros has it, but it's only really useful in tracking the ultra high altitude climbs to see if you get above a certain point that you need to be careful. But from Garmin's perspective, you can track your pulse ox just from a sleeping perspective to sort of get an idea for sleep apnea or if you have any kind of oxygen oxygenation problems, or you can use it when you're doing a you know huge mountain trek and significant climb. Next up, heart rate variability, stress, and body battery. So Heart rate variability determines you know, how much regeneration occurs typically at night, but also how much depletion occurs throughout the day. Polar works in heart rate variability tracking in their nightly recharge sleep portion, but it only does it for a four hour window as far as what gives you accumulation of, of a score. It only does a four hour window, but it doesn't track heart rate variability throughout the day. Coros does use that first beat analytic to track heart rate variability throughout the day, but it's only on the watch. You can't see it on the app when it comes to resources. Garmin gives you a full stress tracking and calculation throughout the day, throughout the night, determine if you're regenerating at night the way you need to, if you're depleting during the day, if you have a cold and sickness came on, if you drank too much, nobody else does it in a continuation, a full-time, sort of real-time effect. Uh, next up, customization. Garmin, you know, I just got done you know, testing the Sunto Bar 09. Before that, the Grid X, at some past point in the past, the Polar Vantage V Titan, um, and now I'm testing the Chorus Vertix. So nobody's got customization. There are different things from different vendors that are effective and useful tools in tweaking some of the data screens or in you know, reordering some of the widgets or things like that, but nobody's even close to Garmin when it comes to custom customization. You can set up your widgets, which means you can roll through information. You can have your widget be big or in a summary list. You can add widgets from third-party vendors, which speaks to the fact that Garmin is the only one that has a third-party app creation platform in which you can have apps and other tracking metrics and you can have widgets, you know. Um, even just looking at the screen, you get more complications is the way Apple would refer to it. More pieces of data you can have available on the screen, especially on the Pro Series of the Phoenix 6 line. You get um, you know, built-in face watch faces that have more complications built into them, and you can adjust any of the complications. I'm going to show you all this in a hands-on in just one second, but just to give you a summary of all the different things. Um, you know, within Sunto, you can sometimes see four, four pieces of data. Within Chorus, you can see four you know, pieces of data, you know, I'm looking at the verdicts now, and, but you can't get the number of complications. Plus you can update a million watch faces from all over the web through the Garmin Connect store. Next up, music. Nobody has music built in. Um, 
and then maybe that's not useful for everybody, but just having online storage is about to listen to it when you don't have to carry your phone. Sunta doesn't have it, Polar doesn't have it, Chorus doesn't have it, music storage, and even better than that, so I think um, Amazfit has some version of music, but you can only download the MP3s. You can't sync your Spotify playlist of songs you don't own on anything else. So it's got music and it's got the best versions of music out there on a sports training platform. It's the only one that does it. Next up, heat and altitude adjusted VO2 max. Now this doesn't matter to us as much in the CrossFit training community um, because you're typically not running and tracking your runs and specifically just runs when it comes to um, heat, humidity, and overall acclimation, but this will track it. Next up is the watch variants, the Phoenix 6 line, and I want to say specifically when it comes to the first point of maps, you don't get the maps on any of the Phoenix 6 base models. You have to go pro or above to get the full match maps, and it's a big deal because the maps are colorful and they're big and, and they're very elaborate, very detailed. You can zoom in, you can scan all around, you can see where you're going, you can see points of interest, all those things. Um, so watch variants on the variants of size on the uh, Phoenix 6 line. You got a 42 millimeter, a 47 millimeter, 51 millimeter. You've got sapphire screen, titanium bezel, solar. You got diamond, you know, light coating bezels, uh, solar power now, and you have a variety of colors. So the Grid X is only one color. The Suntu Borrow 9 comes in titanium or non-borrow is black. I don't know if there's another color. I don't think there is. Chorus has done a great job in allowing a variety of colors on the um, Vertex platform and I think a couple colors on the Apex Pro. But you get a million different watches depending on what kind of arm, what size, what comfort level. So in doing CrossFit training, I actually like the Phoenix 6S and obviously the Pro or Above version because of the size. You just don't need the bulky thing flying around. I don't really love the standard Phoenix 6 um, how that has the big bolts and a huge heavy bezel around it. It just doesn't feel as comfortable, but you can change all those things. Next up, it, it, Garmin allows Ant Plus and Bluetooth connectivity to straps or pods or, you know, all sorts of specialty equipment. Um, Coros does allow Ant Plus, but nobody else is using the Ant Plus platform, which gives you more capabilities for connecting to more devices. It may sound silly, but it is, you know, just another simple thing. You can get a cheap chest strap and an Ant Plus capability, and it works just perfectly for CrossFit training. And last is specialty features, and this is a laundry list of things, but it is crazy. As I've started to research and look more into it, the Phoenix 6 does things that are crazy in some ways. It'll track your surfing. You can connect to a surf line video thing, and it'll show you how you rode your waves, and it'll give you a picture of your waves and how many waves you caught and probably a lot more detail than that. Ski resorts, you can download ski resort maps and it'll tell you where to go and track how you, you know, how many runs you did, what the speed of your runs, all those types of things. Golf maps, if you play golf, you can download golf maps or they're built in. I don't know how that feature works, but it'll tell you how far you have until you get to the next hole based on GPS because you have it loaded as a map. Um, again, I don't know how those things work, but I know it's capable. Mountain biking features, so now they'll tell you how smooth or rough your ride was from a mountain biking perspective. You can download a widget to get a tide chart. Just if you're at the beach, you know, my family and I use it just to know when we want to go pick up shells when it's low tide. So it'll just, it's a simple widget you just put on there and it'll track your GPS and it'll tell you where you are, what the tide schedule for that day is. Smart trainer integration. It's just something that just popped up. I just read an article about it. It'll link to a smart trainer, you know, like a bike that's fixed and you ride with Zwift or whatever you want to ride with. And it'll link to that schedule and tell you details about the ride that you're going to do. Um, strength training. So I've been testing the Chorus Vertex and the Chorus Family strength training app, but the strength training built into Garmin, um, it has does the training effect. It does training load. It gives you recovery based on a tra strength training session. You know, uh, video pictures. So I forget what the word is for it right now, but you can see, if you're going to do yoga, you can see images of somebody doing a pose. Now, Polar will do that with some of the FitSpark, where you can see somebody doing a little tiny pose, and it'll give you a workout plan, but it's not as pretty and big, and it's not as visual. And even on the strength training, you know, Garmin will have preloaded pictures of somebody doing strength training um, motion, so you know exactly what the workout movement is supposed to look like in a pretty and clear version. Um, you can broadcast your heart rate with it to other devices. 
which maybe some of the others do, but it's again, Garmin is so much more in depth, so much more elaborate as I've been tracking the Phoenix 6S compared to the Chorus Vertex, which I love the Chorus Vertex and their design and the way, I mean, they just, the design is, is awesome. But there's just the expansiveness of the Phoenix 6 series is unlike anything else. Now you could compare this to the 945. The Phoenix, uh, the Garmin 400 945 series has a lot of these similar features, but it's a plastic bezel, a plastic back. Maybe that's what's a little bit bigger with the same size screen as the 6S. So it's 1.2 inch screen. You can't change any of the colors. Um, you have to rotate out the watch band to get a quick fit on and off um, option there. And I think, oh, it doesn't have golf maps. It doesn't have some of the territory maps or some of the climb pro features. Some of those things are just not the same. Um, but the Phoenix 6 has everything you could need and it's continually evolving what it can do. I think it just dropped, oh yeah, bouldering and climbing. You can now do some sort of tracking when you wanna climb the side of a mountain. It'll somehow tell you something about that. Um, for us in CrossFit training world, you know, this has got uh, indoor rowing where it'll tra track your cadence, your stroke per minute, which are all useful technique measures to, about, you know, elaborate or to expand your, um, you know, your, your, your rowing technique and capabilities. So I just wanted to put out a video just to share that this is, this is really, as far as the 600 plus, well, actually you'd have to go 700 to get the pro features. There's really not a competitor on the sports watch platform or universe that competes. So I just wanted to share CF tracking. Let's look a little bit at the hands-on and thanks for watching. One thing I forgot to mention is the backlight is better or more capable than the other devices as well. You, number one, you can adjust the, the brightness of it. So you can go down to a super dim to a super bright. The brightness overall is brighter than the other watches. So Suunto's uh, uh, 9 series, so the Suunto Borrow 9 or the Suunto 9, will be able, you can adjust the levels of brightness, but even at the max brightness, it's about half of the max brightness of the Garmin series. Polar's Grit, Vantage, Ignite, Unite, all of the series don't allow you to adjust any of the backlight settings, whether to make it super bright or super dim. You don't have that flexibility. Chorus is, is about, again, half or less than half of the full brightness of the Garmin watches. And one thing I wanted to mention before I forget is that I've commented on the washed out version or the washed out back screen of the Phoenix 6 series. So some of the devices have a little bit more clarity and some of the devices are a little more washed out in the blacks. But I will say after testing the Vertex as well as the Suunto 9, as well as the Grit X, it's still clearer, brighter, and has better color quality in my opinion than all the others. So when you get the, you know, creme de la creme version of the Phoenix 6 series, it is awesome and even more brilliant. I would say the Grit X has a little bit better color, or not better, but similar color saturation or color quality. Uh, the Vertex is definitely more washed out. The Suunto Borrow 9, or the, the Suunto 9 is washed out, and it's the same sort of washed out feeling on most of the watches, and the Garmin Phoenix 6, even with the washed out version, is still better. So if you like this video, please like, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing. I'm trying to build a subscriber base. Stay tuned for the hands-on. Okay, so just give you a couple of these features to show it on the watch because I do think it's somewhat impressive. Um, obviously, on this watch face here, when you think of just the amount of data you can see on the watch face, you've got six around the edge. You can change any of these data sets to chase something different, as well as this particular watch face will show you recovery, where you're at in the recovery, or I'm sorry, where you're at in the training status, as well as your VO2 max and how it develops over time. Um, again, so just a lot of information built into the watch face that is fully customizable and you can download different apps. One thing I was mentioning is about just the capabilities from the mapping perspective. So all of the different GPS activities will show this map and you can hold down the middle button and you can pan and zoom so you can look in closer and back away to see further away. Another thing that's really interesting about it is you can go into the navigate and it'll just say, well, what's around me? And it'll it'll probably not connect because I'm inside, but either way, it'll tell you a list of restaurants and stores. See, look at that. I mean, that's crazy. And you can see a drop down if you wanted to look at it. Oh yeah, so this is gonna tell me, yeah, let's just look at points of interest, food and drink. And it'll track. Okay, so it wants to look in specific directions, but it'll tell me, I did it at home last night and it said, here's a bunch of places to eat or drink nearby. And then it'll give you a turn by turn. 
Um, you know, you can do, I don't even know how some of these things work because obviously it's just a CrossFit tracking. So, you know, in looking at the widgets, you have these simple summary of widgets, whereas like on the Polar series, you have to go screen to screen to see a different piece of information. And it's typically five or six pieces of information. Here you have a laundry list. So this is the stress tracking heart rate variability. You can see that over time. You can track how it's done throughout the day and how it's depleted over time because of the heart rate variability. You have your recovery status, I mean, your training status, your VO2 max, which will give you race predictions, which other watches do. The weather widget, again, is simple and stupid, but it's been out for a while and nobody else is quite mimicking the level of depth at which they're tracking the weather to your watch, which if I was a runner or cyclist, that to me would be useful. Um, you know, simple things like the compass, you know, the compass on this is just better than the compass on the Sunto Baro 9, in my opinion. Um, and there's not much of a con compass capability on some of the other watches. You can see your last activity, health stats, notifications, all those things are pretty standard. Um, the map, I mean, the music app is, again, nobody else is really doing it. I find it to be super helpful or just functionally useful when you're going out for a a run you have respiration tracking at all times you can add the hydration widget to keep up with your water intake throughout the day that's false i don't know why that's not there because sleep tracking has gotten so much better since they contracted the first beat analytics for sleep evaluations um, but then again this is the phoenix 6s in the pro version and you can get a phoenix 6 which is 47 millimeters and then the 6x which is um, 51 millimeters you go you can go into and you can see within you know so here row and door you have just a million different and a lot of the different manufacturers are giving you so you can go into a yoga you can click up for options i don't know if there's one that's easy yeah improve flexibility now we can view it and it'll show you what each little position is supposed to look like with a visual sort of video representation of what the movement. And then when you go in to do the workout, it'll actually allow you to see the picture of what you're supposed to do in each point of training. Um, so that's yoga, strength, you know, there's a few back to basics and you can do, see what this is gonna include. It'll show you the deadlift. It'll show you basic things that nobody else is showing this level of uh, quality when it comes to strength tracking. All these things will have specifics built into them that you can now track and see other details like climb indoor, bouldering, these are all new things that track different things, you know, skiing, surfing, all of that. Like I said in the you know video just a second ago, very elaborate, very detailed, and even can connect to other devices. So Garmin Phoenix 6 really, you know, hands down the most superior device on the market today. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing, trying to build a subscriber base. Thanks so much, cftracking.com.